Hi. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, BillPleaseSandbox.com. So BillPlease is a, a payment gateway system uh, solution provider, which basically provide a payment gateway for any business owner or any organization that would like to receive payment. Uh, and they provided uh, this service um, which allow for a user to use uh, through either online banking or credit card or wallet. So BuildPlease provided a sandbox, uh, sandbox account which allow for developer to test their configuration, to test their code and make sure that whatever that they submitted to, to the BuildPlease uh, API uh, will return and process properly. So this is a free uh, service, uh, free system provided by BuildPlease and you can register with BuildPlease through BuildPleaseSandbox.com. Uh, so go to BuildPleaseSandbox.com and sign up with, uh, with please login. Uh, and then you will receive a, a form, registration form and provide all the information required, email, password and also press the send code button and an email uh, will be sent to the to the email registered uh, here in the form and you can check your email you should receive your email uh, in your uh, in in your uh, inbox so this is mine uh, receive and you should have this uh, otp uh, and then continue All right, so once you have uh, the uh, registration, so you can use, um, you can actually use any number uh, because it, it, this is a sandbox account. So actually there's no need for any details here. So any number, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then down here, there's a send code uh, again, uh, but this is a, a simulation, simulated uh, staging code. So we just enter the number that given down here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and press submit. Actually, so this one, because the number here, they use um, the registered number. Um, let me try a different number. Not quite sure if I need to use real number here. But I believe the numbers already exist with my old, uh, let me try. This number already exists, so I might need to choose a different number. Okay, so this is just dummy account. So you can just... Um, The, the the form here is basically exactly a copy of their real system. So if in the real system, you might need to enter uh, exact uh, information here. So let me just put uh, my name here. Uh, and uh, the uh, passport number here also the same. But since we are using, we just want to simulate the, the account. So I'm going to put... Um, One, no, I'm not quite sure the. So just use that, and they provided dummy bank verified. Uh, choose the dummy bank verified and individual phone number. This is just fake data. Okay, so remember this is all fake data. There's no need to to use uh, correct uh, information. Uh, and then continue. Okay, so once you have that, now um, the account is already registered uh, and uh, you can uh, add organization. So add email for the organization and again send code for the email and check the email again. So yeah, there's another email for organization. So this is the 
the OTP for the organization. All right, and then continue. So provide the name of organization. So let's say um, ADC, or what we call it um, CDE, SDN, BHD. Uh, registration number, anything, 432X. Or we can just use dummy value here. Um, 777, I'm not sure if there's any number there. So you need to make sure if in the real system, you need to make sure the organization details here will put it as, uh, as correct information. This is all dummy data. All right, so now we have organization here and that's it. And you can just select your organization. Oh, sorry, this one will require um, a dummy bank account. So I'm going to create a dummy account. So which is, um, I believe I do have that already because the requirement here is, um, let me try one document. So they need at least one PDF file. So choose file. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I do have the file there. So let me create one file. Let me create one file and then bank account. All right, uh, print as a PDF. Okay, so print, put it somewhere on the desktop. Bank ECC, it's, it's not real things. Okay, so choose file, bank account, and press upload. All right, so uh, verify. You have one chance, so staging secret amount or any value, you want you to enter the correct amount so that uh, we just provide, let's say, uh, 0 0.01, uh, continue. So this is just dummy. Okay, so completed the first one and then the second one is the bank account statement. This is also the same. So you can just enter the same file. This is dummy account and upload. And then just verify. Just put it 0 0.01 and continue. Okay, remember this is dummy. In the real uh, system, you, you need to make sure that you enter this correctly. And then press connect to build this sandbox. So once you have the sandbox, uh, once you have entered everything uh, correctly, uh, here you need to fill in build for sandbox, um, type in sandbox uh, in the below and click authorize. All right, so this is the final step. And then press authorize. All right now, um, you might need to enter something. This is not um, taxi. This one just completed. Verify promo code. All right, so this is in real uh, system. You might need to 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 enter all the correct information here. Okay, so this one phone number no need. I don't. I don't think so. We need that. Okay, now I think it's all completed. Press submit button. Oh, they, they require to, to put uh, any number. I'm going to, I'm going to put, um, in the same number, the number Ali bin Abu, right? So anything. So no code and then finally submitted and then finally submit. All right. I believe that is all um, here. Uh, you can put anything uh, just for final verification business category. Let's say like um, um, whatever that you, you would like to use. 
business to customer or business to business both and finally submit uh, and some other requirement also so let me put whatever requirement here submit all right done all right so this is the the dashboard that that you you are looking for so this is where uh, your registration completed and um, before I end this um, tutorial so you need you you might want to add credit balance but you don't have to worry this is uh, again sandbox so there's no payment everything uh, all basically just a simulated payment so just take this or maybe you can use yes use this plan auto renew type in type in enable and press ok to confirm and press ok okay there's no payment required okay so once you have that and then this is also again simulated uh, payment system so we can just use um, uh, test uh, system so this is just to give the, uh, the 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 idea how the the payment system works so this is their payment form so select be please and press B and then simulate successful payment 2000 ringgit and then done so close and then um, the dashboard here should update with the plan or maybe we need to um, it's supposed to update up here but not quite sure why um, if I try to buy reload 1500 ringgit bill please pay again successful payment yeah there you go 1500 ringgit. i'm not quite sure what, what's wrong with the previous credit value all right so you need credit value because later on when we when we develop our application when we create our uh, billing so we need those uh we need this credit um simulated credit value okay so you don't have to worry this is a simulated credit value there's no need for you to pay anything okay so um i think that's it okay so you can use the dashboard be please uh, sandbox and we can create um using or you can create application using the api here and later on i'm going to oh, sorry I'm, I'm going to describe about how to use the api uh through our application okay so uh this is all um basically the same with the uh, production uh, production service uh, production api uh, and later on uh, you just need to change a few parameter uh, with the real environment and you can use that uh, to to receive payment okay so in the uh, introduction to the api here you can see there are a number of options available here so if your system back end running um, php so you can use the php code okay so the all the description here version uh, of their api uh, and then how to use their api so it's all provided here and how their api uh, respond to the query or to the api provided in in the description or in this uh, document here okay i think that's all i'm going to talk about uh, that's all what, what i'm uh, I want to talk about the Bill Please Sandbox account. So go ahead and register the account. All right.